hundreds of years, kids of all ages have been captivated by magic. Now that fascination with illusions is an integral part of a recovery program for people trying to regain control of their limbs after an illness or injury. Our health reporter Lester Strong says the benefits of this unique therapy are real magic. I will hold it and you twist. For a few minutes, six-year-old Ben Joseph is a magician's assistant, okay. not someone recovering from the removal of a cancerous brain tumor and taking Ooh. chemotherapy. But ironically, the magic is helping to heal the patient. For so people to actually create magic themselves, they, they feel um, very happy with themselves, they feel very pleased with themselves, and I think that's part of the healing process. So what we created was, was the game with the swords. So we would work together to make the swords, and then we would have little sword fights and things like that. And he would hold both swords using both of them at the same time, which would get the, uh, the bilateral movement going. Steve is part of Project Magic, a program created by magician David Copperfield to help patients with occupational therapy. He's been collaborating with therapists at New England Medical Center for the go. past three years as a volunteer. Steve goes in in five seconds and the child is using all the small joints in his hand, using movements, lifting his arm away from his body to get gross strength, improve endurance, get success from activities, and feel good about himself already. Mm -hmm. Steve teaches all occupational therapists how to do the, uh, magic tricks and we use them in adults and hands and um, in pediatrics as well because obviously he can't be here every day. Ben's mom thinks Steve's best trick is allowing Ben to be a kid again. It's a great morale booster. And uh, when, you're, when you've had surgery and you're in the hospital long term, like Ben was, they need a change of pace. They need something that they can identify with that's fun. They, they have to work, but they also want to have fun. Good job. Yeah, good job. Stephen Brenner has taken his Magic Roadshow to the Spalding Rehabilitation Center and he's in discussions with other hospitals to begin Project Magic there. Margie. What a great idea. It is. It's in a thousand Fun. facilities across the country. Is it's he great. the only one doing this? No. Well, interestingly enough, he is the only one in Boston right now. But if there are other magicians who are interested in becoming a part of Project Magic, they can call Steve at 1-800-626-4202. Again, that number is one 800 Six two four four two zero two and Margie Nardi, Stephen and uh, Ben wanted me to give you two things. This is uh, in in honor of your upcoming nuptials, uh, two lovebirds, and this. Oh, isn't that R.D. is a nose turtle. And well, I'll if, it's, if, it's a, if it's a snapper, it'll save me having to have that uh, little That nose job, job. that's right. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank Thanks. you very much, and thanks to Steve. That's Health Watch for tonight.